hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i am back with another video and for today's video i am going to be stuffing my cash envelopes for the month of april i have three pocket cash envelopes here and then i already did have three other ones in here which six is for the most part the amount of cash envelopes that i always use i don't want to ever i think do more than six at a time because i feel like that would be really confusing to keep track of but as you guys saw those are all the pocket cash envelopes that i'm going to be using for this month i keep them all as well in my pocket planner which i will have a link down below i believe they sell them on amazon if you guys don't find it on amazon they do sell them on the Moterm store, which is where that pocket planner is from. But I'm just really excited because I get to finally stuff new cash envelopes and I have been waiting to have six pocket cash envelopes if you guys watched last month's video. And I don't know what it is about the Rainbow Hearts vinyl, but I think it matches with any of the budget kit especially because it has of course the colors of the rainbow i was thinking of just doing like a lilac type of vinyl for my cash envelopes but then i was like hey what the heck let's use the rainbow hearts for one more month because we can <laughs> i just made the hole for these and i think i'm going to go ahead and start with the cash envelope part of this video i will also be setting up the different spreads in my budget planner i have yet to set up my variable income spread as well as my monthly view lay down a couple of bill dues because i do use this monthly section of my plum paper planner to track my expenses so I'll go ahead and set that up as well as my note page here and I'll have my savings tracker here as well. So there's a lot to be done in this video. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed and without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our cash envelope stuffing. Let me go ahead and arrange my cash. And I did something different in my sinking funds video, so I think I'm going to do the same exact thing. I only really need to show you guys up to here, honestly, because my last cash envelope in my variable income section is my gas. So let's see if I can make this happen once again. I'm going to separate my cash. I pretty much have, yeah, a little bit of everything. So I have hundreds, fifties, lots and lots of 20s we have some tens fives and let me scoot just a little bit here we have fives and some ones i have a gas beauty and allowance i'm going to go ahead and lay down my cash envelope headers which are available in my shop as well as these pocket size cash envelopes so we'll put or i'll put groceries here i'm just going to do it in the order that i have them here i have household next and eating out Okay, so now I am all ready to stuff these. I'm going to start with my giving cash envelope, which I am going to do 150 for. So let's just put this in here. Like so. Next is going to be groceries, which is going to get $250. So let's do... Fifty to hundred twenty, forty, and fifty. Going for groceries. Like so. I'm gonna put this in my pocket planner. Next is household, which is going to be getting one hundred dollars. Let's do Going to be 50, 70, 90, and 100 for household. So, put in here. 
Then for eating out, that is going to get $120. $20 from this cash envelope is going to go towards tips. So let me grab my tips cash envelope. I think I'm going to start with tips. So for tips, I think I'm going to do It might be all of this. So we can just move this back here. Okay. So $20 in five and one. So we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. She is definitely going to be a chunker right now. That is a okay. There she is my tips for the month and the rest will be $100 so I think I'm just going to do some 20s and I'll do this one first so 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100 towards eating out for the month like so then we have allowance, which will also be getting one hundred dollars. So let's do one fifty two twenty is not ten. So that's fifty, seventy, ninety, and one hundred for allowance. Beauty is going to get 200. So 150, 70, 90, and 200 for beauty. And then the last $60 will go towards gas, which I have right here. Yes, so 20, 40, 60. We'll be going towards my gas cash envelope for the month. And that is that for all of my cash envelopes. These are super, super chunky right now. And for the most part, I honestly haven't been using the inserts with the exception of the expense trackers. In my pocket planner which you guys will see a little bit more of during my weekly check-in but as you guys can see this little pocket planner is super full which is the main reason why i love the beginning of the month because i get to have really chubby cash envelopes so now that i have that out of the way i'm going to go ahead and set up the rest of my spreads like i mentioned i have i have pretty much all the stickers that i'm going to be using i have some leftover washi here and my variable income sticker and this i pretty much do every single month i think i've done it this way for years since i started budgeting but i don't know i don't know what it is about like routine that i just love <laughs> so i'm gonna lay down the floral washi here so that it matches the budget on the right hand side take my variable income script and I mention this every month but this is where I track all of the income coming in from variable sources like YouTube patreon I have affiliate links so the first main one that I have is YouTube then it will be Patreon. I typically get Amazon. I'm hoping to finally list all of the clothes that I have. I think I'm going to skip like four lines, maybe five just in case. Something comes up this month and then I will just split the income section from my spending tracker here for those 
income sources. So anytime I buy anything for like a YouTube video, like I know I just purchased like a new tripod, I'll go ahead and put it in here. If I'm going to be using something specifically for a YouTube video or for Patreon, shipping, all of that, I'll go ahead and put it in here as well. So any business expenses that have to do with these sources will go in this page. And this is how it looks next to the budget, really cute. And then I think I'll go ahead and set up my note page here, like I typically do with my note page scripts. I'm going to first just put financial goals up there. On this side, I will track my credit scores, so beginning and ending of the month. And then in here, just bills that I have coming up. In the things to remember section of my plum paper planner, I will cover that with cash envelopes to mark how much I spent in total for each one of those. Then this section is for my debt, my beginning and ending numbers. And this last one will be for savings, so beginning and ending. These are the scripts that I have left over, although I will be using them this month in a second. On the right side of this, I like to set up a savings tracker here. So I'm going to go back to my polka dot washi and I have my savings tracker sticker kit there. So first I'll go ahead and washi and this I like to do I've mentioned this in the past I like to do it right next to my note page spread because I don't ever typically go back and forth this is kind of just for me to see but I always like to show you guys how I set up each month in my budget planner just so that you guys have an idea as to how you can go ahead and set it up yourself so there's not much activity in my savings tracker. So I'm just going to move it up to here. And then I will use this other washi and I'll just take this to break it up. Down here, I'll just go ahead and use the this month script to kind of signify and list all of the activities or like things coming up this month that will cause me to spend money. So I know this month I have my mom's birthday as well as my friend Claudia's birthday. We also have Easter this week and I have two trips coming up. So that would be something that I would note down here just so that I have an idea of what I'm spending or going to be spending money on. But this is all set up now. I'm just quickly going to make some lines. But we are pretty much all done with these pages. I'm going to lastly set up my monthly view, which I also have the floral pattern for this month. This monthly washi is for the plum paper planner, but I also offer these in other sizes like the 7x9 EC planners, petite planner, 8.5 by 11, and the Aura Estelle 7x9 monthly insert size. So I pretty much carry it all in my shop. Of course, if there's always a size that you would like to see, definitely let me know. I am always open to suggestions. And I'm just going to go through and... And right now I'm just going through and whiting the dates as well as the month on top. I'm also going to white out, well in a second, the holidays. Just because this planner, like I mentioned, is only for tracking my expenses, so I don't 
track any holidays, special events, nothing like that. This is mainly just for tracking expenses. So these things will end up getting covered anyways. And before I go to the other side, I'm going to go ahead and just lay down this glitter strip down here. So I'll just wipe all of these out. This right here. And now all right, so I am all done with the date dots. The lighter purple color symbolize the days that are not in the month, and then the darker purple will symbolize the days that are in the month. So last but not least, I'm going to lay down my Bill Do stickers with some of my Bill Do scripts. So let's do insurance, card payment, student loan, renters, phone bill, internet, rent, and I think that's all. For rent, I'm going to grab this yellow one and that will go on the first. I have like two bills due, yeah, so I have rent on the first as well as car insurance as well as my car payment. So let's grab this purple car payment sticker, which is 348 with six cents. This would just go right here. So I like to lay down my bill dues first, and then as the weeks go by, as I'm weekly checking in, I'll go ahead and lay down my budget expense stickers on top. So I have car payment, then I think the rest are on this side. So for the most part, I like to mark my car insurance and renter's insurance on the same day. So let's do car insurance there and then renter's right here. And I typically pay 200 for car insurance and then renters, I think it's 1083 if I'm not mistaken, yes, 1083. And that's on the 7th. So let's put renters. And then car insurance, like so. On the 12th, I have student loan payment. That's when I like to make it. And this is 130 with 77 cents. So this will go right here. On the 12th, internet is on the 19th. Let's do a purple one. And last, but definitely not least, is my phone bill on the 21st. So those are the bills that I like to mark 
in my monthly view. But if you guys have other bills, I also offer in the shop scripts for subscriptions, streaming services, and all that good stuff. I think I also have a utilities script for on top of the bill dues, but unfortunately I don't use them in my monthly view since I have my electricity coming out of my sinking funds. But with that being said, that is basically going to be it for today's cash envelope stuffing and budget planner setup video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me as I stuffed my cash envelopes, which like I mentioned are very, very chubby at the end of this video and finished setting up my budget planner for this month. I will go ahead and give you guys an overview of what I have in each one of the pages in my Plum Paper Monthly. So as you guys saw here, I have my little note page in here and next to that I have my savings tracker and kind of the activities are going to happen for this month. Then you have your monthly view, which is where I track all of my expenses. On the notes section here, what I've been doing is I've been tracking my tips. So every time I give out tips, I'll go ahead and write it down here. Then after that, I have my variable income spread and my April or my budget spread on the side. These two blank pages, like I mentioned, are going to be for my weekly check-in spreads. And then after that, I have my sinking funds and transaction log, which I have yet to make the lines for these. And typically I would have my debt snowball spread on the next one. And what I did for the month of March for the last couple of pages here, where I only ended up using one was list everything that I was going to be selling for that month. I honestly didn't get to list anything in the month of March, but I do have an idea of what it is that I want to start listing and the price that I'm asking for them, which is kind of what I'm going to be utilizing these pages as well. I have other projects coming for like my shop and all of that, but that I don't typically ever put in my personal budget planner. That mainly goes in my business planner, which you guys don't really get to see, but if you guys would like to see a little bit of it, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video as always, please do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. And hopefully I will get to see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye guys.